everyone, it's Maxon here in Japan and I'm here with ZBK Bogor. Hello, we are at Tsurumi Line right now and we'll be taking the train to Umi Shibara, the station that you cannot leave. So in Japan, uh, photography is actually prohibited. Bruh. You just said the exact opposite of what... <laughs> Japan, photography is actually permitted in stations as well as trains but there are some rules that you have to follow so in stations you cannot bring in like uh, ladders you can also not bring in tripods stools as well as other gadgets I guess basically all you can do is just bring your camera or your phone and that's all and I presume so, you can't use flash photography either right yeah no flash mm, okay fair enough It's going to be a few stops before we get there, so I'll catch up with you there. Please walk your seat to those who may need it. The next station is Umishibaura Terminal, JI-52. The doors on the left side will open. Please make sure you have all your belongings when leaving the train. Thank you for traveling with us, and we'll look forward to serving you again. So at this point, I bet you're wondering, why can't you leave Umi Shibaura Station? Well, I'll tell you just after the train leaves. So the reason why you can't exit at this station is because behind me, this is a Toshiba factory and the only exit of this station is into their grounds. So unless you work at Toshiba, you can't go in and there's no other way to access this station. They have actually built like a little garden over there in this station because of the amount of tourists that come to this station. So let's go have a look at that now.
And that's exactly what I'm doing right now, but yes. On the right, you see the guardhouse to the Toshiba grounds. But over here is the garden. And that gorgeous view of Tokyo Bay. This station is actually popular in Japanese media, like, you know, books and magazines. It's like a popular day trip spot for like tourists, be it Japanese or tourists from overseas. There were a few people on the train just now which also rode in but they took the train back out. I think we're the only ones that stayed behind. So it's about a 40 minutes wait for the next train. And yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy this sunset. All right, it's time to go back now and wait for the next train. Well, to be fair, I'm not exactly in the way of any passengers here, so I should be fine. You know what, this time right, I'm just going to camp here so that I can get the front view of the cab because just now all the enthusiasts were all already there when it was coming in so I'm just going to camp here for now. So as you can see, most people come here just to hop out of the train and get some pictures and then they'll come back on the same train. This is the Tsurumi Line Train for Tsurumi. The next station is Shinshibanga JI 51. The doors on the left side will open. It may be necessary for the train to stop suddenly to prevent an accident, so please be careful. here there's one more thing that I want to show you and it's just around the corner we are at Hamakawasaki on the Tsurumi main line right now so as you can see, this is Tsurumi line for Showa and Okimachi. And then this one is Nambu branch line for Shite. So the special thing about this station is that the other line, which is the Nambu branch line, is at another building. So we have to exit. But when we exit, we actually don't have to tap in and tap out. So remember, no tapping out when we exit this station. Instead of the traditional fare gates, you just have two entry and exit terminals for people who are not transferring here. Nice vending machine. Oh, I love this. I especially love this. <laughs> So we are outside the station. 
But as far as the ticketing system is concerned, we are still within the JR network. So this side is the Surumi line, and that is the Nambu branch line across the road. And as you can see over here on the platform, there are two terminals again. Well, there's three actually. Two exit and one entry. So again, these are for people who are not transferring. So people who are beginning their journey here or ending it. That was just a very unique transfer system over here. And that's all for this video. Be sure to check out ZBK Bovin's videos as well. And if you want to see an upside down monorail in Japan, check out this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.